تاریخ آدم و صحبه و خیلی مثل جمعی بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما أموالكم وأولادكم فتنة Allah Azza wa Jalla says your wealth, children and family are a test for you the test sometimes brings hardship and sometimes goodness when raising children, you should raise them on the way Allah loves, on the way that Allah wants. You should teach children patience. You should teach them to do goodness. It is your duty to teach them how to help people in different ways according to adab, manners. If you do this duty, it will be good for both you and them. We are living in the end of times. As our Holy Prophet وسلم, said, and تلد الأمة ربتها that the slave woman gives birth to her mistress. The sign of the end of times is that a slave gives birth to his owner. People have become like slaves. Whatever children say, they do it. They fulfill their wishes, and their wishes are never ending. The more they are given, the more they ask. Whereas it is not good to give a lot of everything. They must show little effort too. They must control their egos. So as you are doing goodness to them, you're causing hardship to them. When they face hardship, later they won't know what to do. They will either go astray or do bad things. Some people think they're doing goodness, whereas they're doing badness. As it is said in the Qasida Burda, the nafs ego is like a child. If you breastfeed him, one can do it until he is five to six or even ten years old, but you must wean him off breastfeeding from his mother. When you give everything to people, but then cut it off later, they start rebelling. We live exactly in the time described by our Holy Prophet ﷺ. People have become slaves to their children. Children are the ones who must serve their parents. But people of the present time do the opposite. Therefore, children don't know what is right and what is wrong. They don't know what is good and what is bad. They only want to be served. Serve me, give me, look after me. Pay attention to me. This is as such everywhere because it has become the same all over the world. The adab and principles of Islam are enough for everything. The best is when it is done with its instructions. The instructions given by Allah Azza wa Jalla are in Islam.
Allah Azza wa Jalla teaches us how to live and how to discipline children. If you do it according to your own mind, the way non-believers teach it, it will be absolutely useless. May Allah protect us. May Allah give us all discipline to our egos, inshallah.